Hello all, this is a case of ultrasound assisted varicose vein surgery. Here we are demonstrating Trendelenburg operation, stripping and hook flibectomy. We routinely perform vein mapping for all our patient before starting the surgery. Then we mark the growing incision site with the help of an ultrasound. Growing incision is placed just below the inguinal crease. A self-retaining retractor is introduced and the dissection is continued to open fatty and membranous layers. Great saphenous vein is identified and dissected carefully to skeletonize the vein. A vessel loop is placed around the vein so that the further dissection is much more easier. Then the tributaries are identified one by one, which are ligated and divided. Three tributaries are usually constant, that is medially we have superficial external pudendal and laterally we have the superficial circumflex iliac vein and superiorly we have superficial inferior epigastric vein. Sometimes we have anterior or posterior axillary veins are present. If it is there, ligate them properly. This is superficial external pudendal artery which is a branch arising from the medial aspect of femoral artery and which usually passes posterior to the great saphenous vein close to the junction. After ligation and division of all tributaries, saphenofemoral junction is identified. Then apply two artery forceps and the great saphenous vein is divided. We routinely do a bursting type of flush ligation. Needle is passing through the adventitia of great saphenous vein. <music> 
the remaining distal stump is cut and removed. Then the open end of the vein is closed with the two interrupted sutures. Then a stripper is passed from above downwards. We routinely use plastic strippers. Metallic strippers produce more trauma and more hematomas. Stripper head position is confirmed with the help of an ultrasound and we made a small stab incision and the stripper is taken out. Then the stripper is fixed to the vein along with a roller gauze. And the stripper is pulled and this is called inversion stripping. Before hooking the veins, we inject Tumisen solution into the perivenous space. Then a small stab incision is made with 11mm blade and the vein is hooked with the help of a vein hook. Then the procedure is repeated.
groin wound is closed in two layers for small veins in the lower leg and around the ankle we did usc guided form sclerotherapy Thank you so much for watching the video your comments are welcome